Hi, I'm Ron with Pacific Permaculture. Today what I have is I'm going to plant some sweet potato. Okay, I saved these ones that I bought and I bought some of these special because there's the small ones and they seem to sprout. And uh, they off of there. Purple sweet potatoes, my favorite. So that's what I'm going to grow. So I'm going to do this and chop it. Chop it into little, little segments. And I know there's ways they say grow the slips and all this, but anyway, that's so how I'm going to try it. Boop. So, I didn't mean to do it like that exactly, but so be it. One of the things about the purple sweet potatoes is just look how beautiful it is. You know, when you like to eat something that beautiful all the time, I do, so... I figure I might as well grow them, being I eat. That's what, one of the things I eat all the time. So, let's put this here. I don't know how big I'm supposed to make these pieces. This is all an experiment, folks. Experiment in uh, having more food. And basically what I'm building is a biology library here. Okay. They have seed libraries, but this is going to be any way you can propagate it if you can get something going. Come and get a piece of sweet potato, whatever, that you can grow a plant with. It's edible and useful in human terms. So, that's what the permaculture is all about, folks. So, this formerly had garlic, that's why all the... These little pieces are in here. My garlic experiment didn't turn out so well. So what I'm going to do is just put it in where these sprouts are popping up a little bit. I'm not sure if that's enough, but hey. That's what we got. We go with what we got and then learn from there. I know this is probably not the proper tool. But that's also what I have. So I don't know if these pieces are big. I'm not writing down how many I put in. If these take and do well, the idea is I'm going to propagate more next year with these. So that I won't have to get more. These will be like my seed stock or my mother stock type of thing. Okay. So whether you call these a root or a corm or God knows what. It's kind of a root structure, right? So I'll get them going. Maybe I can max out and have, you know. All kind of sweet potato plants growing here next year. But basically I'm just growing to be able to grow more right now. I'm not growing to harvest every day. Because I want this to be able to be regenerative over time. I mean maybe someday I can have a thousand sweet potato plants growing here. Or a few hundred at least. Then, uh, you know, then I have more that if I want to help somebody out, I have more to... Did I want it if I want to share? I don't feel like I'm going hungry to share. I want to build this up, have a lot more local food growing around, you know? I think I'm putting this more in the same spot than I realized, but the dirt was not like a nice wet soil or anything it was just this dry dirt so it's a little bit different to dig in it's easy to dig in but anyway you get the idea i think if you don't you'll figure it out sometimes so so that's the thing now let me make my tags Okay, so now you can see I made my plant tags and I've got them there and I'm watering this thing in. I've got one, two, three. So, in case one or two get lost, we don't forget what the heck we got. I should put in a propagation record too, but right now I'm a little bit busier than I'd like to be, so I'm trying to just do the basics. If it gets, I'm going to water it in good, and if it gets overly hot during the week and the soil dries out, I'll try to, you know, supplementarily water it 
halfway during the week or so. But back here it's cooler so things don't dry out as much even though we've had a heat spell lately. And uh, that's the idea why I put them back here. Anyway, that's all I got for right now.